Are you ready to take your striking game to the next level? Then you've got to get the Focus Ball. Dramatically improved footwork, timing, reflex, hand-eye coordination, head movement, and striking IQ. Lightweight and extremely portable, so you can train every time, everywhere with the Focus Ball. Watching Dante's Boxing Nation. Dante's Boxing Nation, what's going on, guys? So, the walls are really starting to close in on Canelo Alvarez right now. Because not only will this Charlo problem not go away, but it's getting worse. You see, it started with Oscar De La Hoya. Oscar De La Hoya said about a year ago, maybe it was a little bit over a year, he said, in order for Canelo to be considered a great fighter, he has to fight Demetrius Andrade and Jamal Charlo. Shortly after Oscar De La Hoya said that, the way Canelo reacted was by actually vacating his WBC belt to avoid his number one contender, Jamal Charlo. Now, Jamal Charlo is the WBC champion and Canelo no longer holds the belt. So first it was Canelo's own promoter that was starting to put the pressure on Canelo to take on the likes of a Demetrius Andre or a Jamal Charlo. Now, it's Golden Boy's Bernard Hopkins, who's also putting the pressure on Canelo Alvarez to fight Jamal Charlo in May of 2021. Now, Bernard Hopkins, he says that he believes that Canelo deserves a tune-up fight first. He says he would like to see Canelo fight Jason Quigley next in September and then come back in May of next year and fight Jamal Charlo. He was also asked in this interview if Canelo Alvarez is considered a great Mexican fighter. And Bernard Hopkins said not yet. He needs more names on his resume. And that's what made him bring up Jamal Charlo. He said, and I quote, there are still some good fights out there in the middleweight division. And that's why they're fluctuating sometimes from 175 down to 160 until there comes some day where this makes more sense than 175 fights. There's still a couple of fights to seal the deal in the middleweight division and then maybe go up or whatever. But there are still some good fights in the middleweight division. And there's some names out there. I want you guys to notice how Bernard Hopkins said there's still some good fights to seal the deal. He's talking about sealing the deal for Canelo's legacy. Okay, so Bernard, he continues by saying the fight that I want to see in May of 2021 is Canelo versus Charlo. Then Bernard, he also said I like to see one of the Charlo brothers fight Oscar De La Hoya as well if Oscar De La Hoya really comes out of retirement. So going back to Charlo versus Canelo or Canelo versus Charlo. You heard Bernard Hopkins once again say that Canelo, he needs to go back to the middleweight division and seal the deal. This is what Bernard Hopkins meant when he said Canelo is not considered a great Mexican fighter or a great fighter at all because he still has names out there that he needs to add to his resume. And for some of you fans that were confused saying, well, didn't Oscar De La Hoya or didn't Canelo offer Charlo a fight? Let me tell you this right now. If Golden Boy had offered Jamal Charlo a fight to fight Canelo Alvarez and Charlo turned down the fight, Canelo would have never vacated his belt. And Bernard Hopkins wouldn't be saying, that's the fight I want to see in May of 2021. And let me remind you guys, when Canelo Alvarez first went after Sergey Kovalev, negotiated with him, Sergey Kovalev actually turned down the fight, right? There's no disputing that. He turned down the fight and Canelo still came back to the negotiating table to make that fight come to fruition. You know why? Because he was determined to get in the ring with Sergey Kovalev. So my point is, even if you're using that scenario, this means Canelo still can get in the ring with Jamal Charlo. We all know that Jamal wants to fight. There's no doubt Jamal wants to fight. Just like we all know, on the contrary, Canelo Alvarez does not want the fight. He doesn't want the fight at all. 
but he didn't want the fight against Edislani Lara and the pressure got to him. So he ended up taking the Lara fight. And I think the same thing is starting to happen right now with Jamal Charlo. Speaking of not wanting to fight, I often hear Canelo Alvarez fans say, oh man, Canelo would beat the hell out of Charlo. He would destroy him. That's an easy fight, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. First of all, when has Canelo Alvarez ever completely destroyed or knocked out some undefeated athletic slick boxer? He didn't destroy Austin Trout. Matter of fact, Robert Garcia, who's a very big Canelo Alvarez fan, he said the fight could have went either way. Canelo didn't destroy Edeslani Lara. A lot of people believe Lara won that fight. And he damn sure didn't destroy Floyd Mayweather. He was dominated in that fight. And I'll say this, since you Canelo Alvarez fans love to compare Canelo to Floyd Mayweather, unlike Canelo Alvarez, Floyd Mayweather, he did destroy undefeated champions that were considered pound for pound, rated higher than Floyd Mayweather was, Floyd destroyed opponents like that. Diego Corrales comes to mind. Gennaro Hernandez comes to mind. Ricky Hatton comes to mind. And when it comes to Canelo Alvarez, Floyd didn't destroy him, but he dominated him. Just like he dominated Manny Pacquiao. And understand this, guys. Just so you know how big of a win the Corrales win was for Floyd Mayweather's career, I can tell you right now, if Canelo Alvarez were to fight Jamal Charlo and he were to win, that would be a huge win for Canelo Alvarez. And that would be one of his signature wins of his career, but it still wouldn't be on the level of the win that Mayweather got over Diego Corrales. Why? Because like I told you guys before, when Floyd Mayweather beat Corrales, Corrales was considered pound for pound top 10, one of the best fighters in the world. He also was the favorite to beat Floyd Mayweather. And he was ranked in that, on that pound for pound list higher than Floyd Mayweather was at the time. So this is why I keep telling you Canelo Alvarez fans to stop comparing Canelo Alvarez to Floyd Mayweather because you're making Canelo look worse. I mean, if you're trying to make Canelo Alvarez look better, compare him to Leo Santa Cruz, compare him to Adrian Broner, compare him to Gennady Golovkin, compare him to Oscar Valdez. That's how you make Canelo Alvarez look better. Now, going back to what some of the Canelo Alvarez fans say to defend Canelo Alvarez, I've also heard these fans say, well, he has a better resume than Andre and Charlo. Well, guys, if you're using that argument, then that means that Canelo Alvarez, he should not have fought at least 85 to 90% of his previous opponents because he had a better resume than them as well. And that's why I call these type of fans decafs dumb casual ass fans because they don't think about what they say they just say whatever makes them feel better which often ends with them contradicting themselves but going back to the argument saying oh well he has a better resume than the guy that he's ducking usually a guy who's been at the top for the longest will always have a better resume than the number one contender who's chasing them that's why you're put in the position of being the number one contender. So you can put that person on your resume and start to build your own resume. But if the guy at the top is afraid to fight the people coming for his throne, you can't compare resumes. Because if it was up to Jamal Charlo and Demetrius Andre, they would have already had Canelo and Golovkin on their resume. But it's because Canelo and Golovkin didn't want to fight them they don't have these names there. I mean, Sonny Liston had a better resume than Muhammad Ali, but Sonny Liston still took the fight, right? This is the reason why sports have rankings. You work your way up the ladder. You work hard enough, you keep winning, you become the number one contender. That's how you earn your shot. I mean, the logic that you guys come up with makes absolutely no sense. Because if we were using this logic, we would have never got any of the great fights right? Floyd Mayweather had a better resume than Canelo Alvarez. So what you're saying is we should have never got the Canelo Alvarez fight. I mean, we all know Canelo Alvarez had a way better resume than Rocky Fielding. So why didn't you guys complain about Canelo fighting Rocky Fielding when he first signed the contract? Why didn't you say, man, I don't want to see Canelo fight someone that he has a better resume than? 
And on top of it, the guy has already been knocked out previously in the first round. How come you didn't say this about Rocky Fielding? But you say these type of things about Jamal Charlo, the guy that Canelo Alvarez gave his belt to. Waved the white flag, basically, and handed over his belt. Came out of the house that was surrounded with his hands up. Instead of shooting his way out. I'll close out with one more point. Going back to the Canelo Alvarez fans that say, oh, Canelo would do this. Canelo would destroy Andre. He would destroy Charlo. Yadi, 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 right? If you guys truly feel that way, why are you telling us this on the internet? Why aren't you sending these messages to Canelo Alvarez? Why aren't you going on his Instagram, his Twitter? Why aren't you telling him, Come on, Canelo, please fight Andre and Charlo. Destroy these guys, shut everyone up, because you can do it, Canelo. I believe in you. If you're the only one that has confidence and you sitting on your phone just typing away on the internet, but Canelo doesn't have the same confidence, how does that make Canelo look better? If Muhammad Ali never fought the Joe Frazier's, the Sonny Listens, and George Foreman, do you think people will say, oh, he's still a great fighter because he would have beat those guys? No, you have to show and prove. So you fans, even though it's fake confidence, and I'm gonna explain that in a minute, but you can have all the confidence in the world that Canelo Alvarez will win, but you're not the one that's gonna get in the ring. Canelo needs to have that confidence, not you. That's why you guys should be sending messages to Canelo to give him the confidence that you claim you have. But see, they're not gonna do that because they don't really have the confidence that Canelo can beat an Andrade and Charlo. That's why they're not gonna put the pressure on Canelo to get in the ring with people like Charlo and Demetrius Andrade. I mean, when you speak for another man that's not showing the same confidence you're showing, that's no different than a guy going in a club with his girlfriend and she's telling all these big dudes, my man will kick all y'all ass. And her man is trying to avoid all the smoke. He trying to pull his girlfriend up out of that club fast as hell. Telling her, no, nah, let's go ahead and go home. This is how you guys sound when you're defending Canelo Alvarez. You're the girlfriend that has all the confidence that your boyfriend is lacking. And I want to make this point clear. Just because I'm telling you guys we want to see the fights, that doesn't guarantee that Charlo's going to win, that Andre's going to be Canelo. That's not why we're saying we want to see the fights. We want to see these fights because real boxing fans want to always see the best fights. In every sport, you want to see the best games. You want to see the best matches, right? Just because someone told you they want to see the two best football teams, you're not going to say, oh, you're just being biased, right? That should be what every real boxing fan wants. But the problem in the sport of boxing is you have more race fans than boxing fans. I always tell you this stuff and it's proven by looking at the comments every day on the internet. Boxing is based on race, nationality, and pride in that order. And some race of people in particular, some nationalities in particular, they're willing to see their fighter go down in history as being looked at as the most overhyped, the biggest cherry picker of all time, as long as that secured his win streak, right? They would rather him go out like that as opposed to step up, fight against a very, very dangerous opponent and possibly lose to him, especially if the fighter is on the coincidental list. So you guys can't stop all this truth from coming out. Everything you have heard me say about Canelo Alvarez you have heard it from all, I mean, the majority of the greatest Mexican legends, from Julio Cesar Chavez Sr. to Eric Morales to Juan Manuel Marquez and more. Now you're hearing it from Oscar De La Hoya. Now you're hearing it from Bernard Hopkins. The walls are closing in, guys. The stuff that you guys are saying to defend Canelo, you're just making his legacy look even worse. If you truly believe Canelo Alvarez destroys Demetrius Andre, destroys Jamal Charlo, two undefeated champions in a division that Canelo fights at still because he goes up and down. If you truly believe that, 
You should be sending messages to Canelo Alvarez pushing for the fight. You should be all across the internet saying, let's make this fight happen, guys, because Canelo can win. I have confidence in Canelo. And if Canelo don't have the confidence, we're going to instill it in him. That's what you should be saying. That's what you should be doing. That's all I got for now, guys. I'm on to the next one. You know, I always say on this channel, pay-per-view fights should actually be free. And now the day has come where I'm about to hook you up with an app where you can watch all your pay-per-view events, boxing, UFC, etc., for free. I want to introduce Block TV, the best internet streaming television app out there. They provide over 3,600 channels, including HBO, Cinemax, Showtime, and Stars. They have a massive video on demand library with over 40,000 of the new release movies and the latest TV series. And it also includes DVR. So you're getting all of this for $34.99 a month. And once again, that includes free pay-per-view. So this one right here is a no-brainer, guys, because back in Las Vegas, I was paying damn near 200 bucks a month for my cable. Those days are long gone now. So to get the app, make sure you guys go over to GetBlockTV.com and put in my promo code and get 30% off your first month. You also get a free month for every friend you refer. The promo code is DBNation.